Welcome back to Income Trading 101. And today is Saturday, May the 1st, 2021. And we're going to go over um, one of the crypto uh, currencies I haven't looked at is OKB. Um, so today we're looking at OKB versus the USD. And I'm using TradingView as my uh, charting software. And definitely, if you don't have, uh, if you have not already subscribed to the channel, please do hit the subscribe button. You guys are awesome, amazing, and I'm, I really enjoy making these videos. So uh, go ahead and subscribe, and it, it makes me want to make even more. All right, so here we go. We have data back to uh, back from November of 2020, and it just amazes me as I look at all of these uh, different currencies. You have um, back then, day one, you have a close of $4.59. Four dollars and fifty nine cents, right? And yesterday, this thing hit a high of thirty seven dollars and uh, thirty seven and basically fifty cents. That's unreal, unbelievable. So let's go ahead and take a closer look to get a better sense of what is going on in this currency. So the question is always: Is this a good? Are there any levels that we should be aware of? Is there anything that we should, um, you know, look look towards for making the investment? So let's go ahead and use a 10 day here. Uh, we're going to do the normal things. We'll use a 10, a 20, and a 60 as our uh, moving averages. Just get a better look, a closer look at um, sort of price movement. And I like using the 10 as a green and the 20, I turn that red. Uh, it's sort of like my buy and sell signal. So if the red ends up above the green, it's a good indication that it's time to sell. And if the green is above red, good indication that it's time to buy. So bullish pattern will have the green above the red. What's interesting is because of this bullish, uh, I mean, the last few days, um, look at what went, what's happened. I mean, you had a period where the 10 was in between the 60 and the 20, and it made a crossover uh, earlier today, actually. Um, I'm, I'm looking at this. Uh, yeah, it made a crossover earlier today. Looks like my time zone. Um, no, it's all okay. Uh, but sorry about that. We've got the 10 higher than the 20, higher than the 60, which definitely looks bullish. But let's take it down to a lower time frame just to get a better sense. So I like looking at the one hour and the one hour shows that you have uh, still all three uh, moving averages are in line with the 10 above the 20 above the 60 period. I mean, this is just really from uh, late night on Friday, the 30th, all the way through, um, you know, the morning of May of May 1st. I mean, this is just quite an amazing move. I mean, such strong hourly bars, just, whew. I mean, if you guys owned this thing uh, yesterday, uh, I'm sure you're having quite the weekend. Let's look at the 30 minute. So the 30 minute shows a little uh, more congestion. Let's see. Right now you have the 10 day higher than the 20, higher than, I'm sorry, the 10 period higher than the 20, higher than the 60. So they're still in line. I'm actually using the numerical values on the left hand side to get a better sense so you can see that the 10 and the 20 are eight cents apart right now or just a little bit less than eight cents um that's really close uh before the 30 minute they often do trade close let's look at the 15. so at the 15 they actually all three are in line for bearish because you've got the 60 higher than the 20 higher than the 10. um but overall um well two things it's hard to, uh, you can't actually short uh, these individual coins. I mean, there are obviously some derivatives to allow you to short uh, Ethereum and, and Bitcoin, but you can't something like this. Um, but certainly the strength is to the upside. And if I've learned one thing uh, that's really saved me this year, uh, really not even this year, it's, it's over the past few years of trading, it's you know trade with strengths when you have something moving up that strong uh to try to short it just seems to be you're gonna get if you're right you're gonna get a shorter move than the periods of uptrend that you're going to miss uh trying to be counter counter trend let's look at a macd 
and obviously at the at the one day level, the MACD is going to um, be really skewed to the upside. Obviously, uh, given that I mean these three bars are huge, but once we take it to the one hour and lower, we should get some interesting data points. So at the one hour, you had a nice crossover that unfortunately still happened above the zero line, but that was a strong cross that happened um, uh, late in the evening on uh, the evening of Friday, Friday evening, uh, April the 30th. And you can see there is a crossover here. I imagine this, this period here uh, in the one hour will likely just be sideways trending until it either has another opportunity to make another leg up or just to pull back just a little. I mean, this is such a huge thing. I mean, let's see. The low was, you know, $20.95, the high being uh, $37. That is unbelievable in a matter of just, you know, half a day. So um, let's go ahead and take this. And sorry, we do have this crossover here, but I do, uh, until these crossovers go from positive to negative, meaning it's positive right now, uh, given the MACD, this looks like, the, as long as it's positive, it's in the overbought category, and once it goes negative, that'll be oversold. I like seeing the crossovers happen in one of those uh, regions, and then see it go positive or negative, um, depending. So, for instance, with the 30 minute, you have this crossover uh, of the signal line and the MACD line, but you can tell it's still in positive territory. If we were to dip below the zero line, that would make this a far better trading signal. Um, but I'm very cautious, very leery of sideways markets um, and not, not, like right now, my I would be leaning towards the buy side because of this strong move that happened um, over the last uh, 24 hours. But at the same time, the last you know several hours have shown uh, sideways markets. So I'm not looking to short any of these little pullbacks. I'm also um, wanting to buy and see if we're going to test the hot, the recent highs or make a new high. The problem though is I really want to wait and see, wait and let the market tell me that it's time for that, and not just force it. Um, when I force trades, uh, it costs me money, and I don't like that. Uh, here again, we see that there is a crossover of the signal line over the MACD, which would be a a, pause, a, a sell signal. And the MACD line actually went negative, but the signal line did not follow suit. And right now, with sideways markets, it's just sort of hovering around the zero line. They have both crossed into negative territory, um, but as long as these markets are going sideways, I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't advise getting involved in, uh, in, in a short. Um, and I also am going to wait before deciding to try to get long as well. So let's do this. We're gonna make a nice little sideways. Oh, let's see, that's actually not the one that I wanted. Let me do this. All right, we're just gonna move this whole channel a little bit lower, try and get it to cover as much of this data as possible, just to get a better sense of what we're dealing with. And that's what I'm calling the sideways channel. So this isn't 100% flat, but you can see for the most part that these prices aren't going up, they're not really going down, they're kind of hanging in there. And so until we get a true breakout from that, either to the upside or the downside, um, I wouldn't react. And my goal really, because of the strength that's shown um, to the upside in the last 24 hours, I wouldn't be looking to exit. I'd be looking for another leg up to see if that's going to go higher or not. So. Um, Overall, you know, I'm I'm a big fan of all of these uh, all of these other coins, DeFi uh, coins, um, or, and whatnot. You know, DeFi opportunities or or other, uh, all of the crypto 
uh, currencies other than Bitcoin and Ethereum. Obviously, those are the strong ones, but so many of these smaller ones have just done amazing, uh, have had amazing movement over the last couple of months. So if you're active in all of these, you know, and I've gotten some great comments, you know, what's your strategy? I'd love to hear how you decide your uh, your buys and your and your sells, what kind of signals you're using. And hey, feel free to leave a comment. Thank you guys for those of you who have left comments. Um, let me know if there's anything, any, uh, any particular um, coins or tokens that you'd like to see me uh, do an analysis of. I've got a couple others that are, have been posted like, uh, you know, Pancake and uh, some others. So just uh, just taking a look and, you know, doing analysis one day at a time and deploying capital the same way. So um, thanks for joining me on this journey and uh, as usual, happy trading.